In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the history of Chili's. The first Chili's restaurant was opened in 1975 by Larry Levine in Vickery Meadows, which is just outside of Dallas, Texas. The first location was a converted postal station that was converted into the Chili's restaurant. The original location was moved to a different spot on the same property in 1981 before being relocated again in 2007. Larry's idea was to create a concept where it was a full-service informal dining experience with a variety of hamburger choices you could offer. This idea was proved to be successful and by the early 1980s they had 28 locations in the area. All these Chili's locations, they offered a Southwest decor inside the restaurants. In 1983, Larry sold the company to Norman E. Brinker, formerly of the Pillsbury Company, which also owned Bennigan's. Through the next several decades or so, Chili's would grow throughout the world and throughout the country as well. They would grow throughout the country and throughout the world, opening up new locations in new countries across the world. I always thought Chili's was always very similar to Applebee's as to the very similarity with the history of it as well. I always got mistaken that Chili's was Applebee's because of the pepper on it. It looks kind of like what Applebee's... Uh, uh, or the chili, well, chili pepper, but the, it kind of looks like an apple, kind of like Applebee's logo, in my opinion. In 2008, a franchisee in Australia was, was accused of not paying their employees, and they were fined $300,000 for not paying their employees. In the same year, it was announced that Chili's would close all their locations in Australia per permanently and definitely. This is not yet known if it was because of the poor management at these locations or if it was just Chili's wanting to exit. But it was because of the Fair Work Act in 2009. Today, Chile has 1,610 locations worldwide. Thanks for watching this video on the history of Chili's. Stay tuned for more videos tomorrow.